And so by the time you're done with this, se uh, this session, I want you to have the figure four, the power half, and the tight waist down uh, so well that when you step onto the mat in November, you should be able to do it like you, like you uh, were drilling it the day before. Okay? That's the plan. And so at the, la the last hour, the last half hour of this session, we're going to drill them in, in, uh, in a series. Okay? A lot of drilling. Half hour hard. So if you think we're passing by all this technique and you think you're going to forget it, in about 20 minutes from now, we're going to be drilling it real hard. Yes? All right. So, uh, so we're almost done with the technique aspect. All right. Uh, speaking of which, we've got to go into the tight waist tilt now. Okay. And just a little crash course on the breakdowns that I do. Back up. Every breakdown that you've probably been uh, taught has been four, right? Yes? Now, off the whistle, I do jam them. But most of my breakdowns are pulling them backwards and pulling them away from his post. Because I don't like going into his post. I like jamming him to stop that initial move, but when he pushes back into me, I like pulling him away from his post and grabbing wrist. My second invention in wrestling is the drape technique. I'm, I, you guys don't have to go out and drill it, but this is a breakdown that I use a lot and or pull, because sometimes when you pull them down in that position, you need to drape. Right, what I like to do is get them here, pull them a little bit, drape. So it's the opposite of a spiral where I'm here, I'm going drape here and I'm at the knee. If I go here, bring your knee out. See that? If I go here, bring your knee out. You can't. Bring your knee out. Bring it out. Come on. I'm trolling them pretty well. All right. So I, I pull, pull catch. But I also end, end up here a lot. If he does a stand up, go ahead. Okay, he, bring, he brings his other knee around. Works his way up. Really starting to work his way up. He comes back up. Pushes back an enemy. And the beautiful thing about that is I use so little energy. I just pull a catch and that drape. It's virtually unstoppable and it, and it requires no strength. Okay, so that's my drape technique. I also use it when I have a cloth. Pulse is about three inches, drape. If I try to drape right now, what happens? Can't do it. That's when I hop on, catch my cloth, pull, drape. And then what I do is I pull here and I attack here. And drive right into him, take the air out of his lungs. Right? Okay, so that's the, the, the thought process. So again, when I go away from post, here's a post, here's a post, here's a post, 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 post. I go away from those. This is a post. There's no post there. There's a post there. There's a post there. There's a post there. There's even a post here. So my concept is, and this can be a post even when I go here. You see that? So a lot of times what I like to do is when I'm pulling them, is drop my knee down. Now I don't, when I do that, I don't go to here though. I've got to be able to recover. So you go here, drop, catch. Great. And a lot of times that helps you out so that when you drop down, you catch, then you can bring your knee back. You understand? It makes this guy feel pretty weird when you, uh, you can control him with one skinny left arm, right? Okay. Back to technique. So with that in mind, I like to either drape or tie waist tilt. So when I drive here and jam him and he pushes back, the other thing is you gotta have your hands. Use them as handles. That's what Russ Hellickson, my coach at Ohio State, taught me. This is a handle, this is a handle, this is a handle, this is a handle, this is a handle. That chest muscle's a handle if you can't get to the shoulder. And you gotta use these handles. See a lot of people riding like this with their left arm. Get in there, grab that groin muscle. Stand up. Thank God he weighs less than me. He was 220, I would have went. But uh, grab that groin muscle, handle, drive. Here's my handles, pull. And I almost can have a tug of war match with him. Go for it, go for it. It's really hard to stop this. 
And if he does, you understand? Then it sets up my boot. Yes? All right. Jam. Get my handles in. Jam them over his far shoulder. I don't jam him here. He's not going to push back and he'll put, push back that way, which is not where I want him to be. Uh, plus, he can do a grand right now. Boom. Going flying into the first row. So I drive over his far shoulder. This doesn't do much for me. I do go spiral, but I go over far shoulder. He pushes back. If he doesn't push back, I'm going to have. He pushes back. Pull. All right, drape or tight waist. So we're in on our tight waist. When I go tight waist, I just dip my shoulder. Do you guys want to do that technique first? Drill that one. Let's do that first. Jam, pull. Get your handles in. Go. 